Yo, what is up Star Blast players? Welcome back to another Inferno Squadron YouTube video. I'm IS Leader One, and today I'm super excited to present to you a sneak peek at the Star Blast Arena mod. So, this mod only came to my attention like a couple weeks ago. Like, this is a really new thing. People have working really hard on it, and I'm super excited to show you a sneak peek at some of the some of the changes, some of the ship, some of the ships, some of the stuff they have in there right now. Do keep in mind that this is still being developed, so by the time it's actually released in Star Blast, there'll be like at least seven new ships, I think. And also some of the abilities might be chained, or not really changed, but like buffed slash nerfed, uh, just depending on how balanced they are. So do keep that in mind, but here we go, sneak peek at Star Blast Arena mod. Let me first give a quick explanation on how Arena Mod works. So the basic goal of the game is to have more people in the center circle than your opponents, in which case you'll start earning counters for your team. So I think the goal of the game is to get 100 counters for your team, so having more people in the circle will slowly start adding up counters, and your opponents of course, when they get more people in the circle, they'll start getting counters. So that's the goal of the game, is to hold that circle. Now let's get on to the ships. I'll give a quick rundown on the basic ability of this ship and then what the ship is generally aimed for, so kind of how you want to use the ship in the game. So let's get to it. So the first ship I decided to try out was the Scorpion. This ship is just your classic Scorpion I believe, not really much buffs to it. Um, so its ability is this heal pool kind of thing where it will drop this circular healing for all your teammates. Uh, so any of your teammates in that circle will get uh, approximately like 30 health every two seconds. I really don't, I haven't calculated it out, but that's the general idea. You can just look at it and see how it does. This ship is best for holding the center. If you want to hold that thing and you have teammates in there fighting, you know, against opponents, drop one of those heal pools in there and your team will be able to survive a lot longer. The next ship I used was the Advanced Fighter. Uh, I do apologize, I did not catch its special ability on my footage, but you'll see it throughout the footage on other other clips. So, the Advanced Fighter special ability is called the EMP Pulse. Basically, all opponent ships within its circle will get frozen for like 5 seconds. So this is really good if you're trying to retake the circle, and you have a team trying to fight it out. If you can just freeze your opponents, then your team can just hit all their shots and destroy them. So, next ship we have is the Marauder, which has an incredibly powerful special ability, although it's really hard to use right. So it's called Firestorm, basically. The instant you hit it, your ship will be frozen, uh, you won't be able to turn it, you won't be able to move it, or anything like that. And you will just shoot out boatloads of damage, oh my goodness, it will definitely kill any ship you hit. The thing is you can't turn your ship, so it's wherever you're facing is where you're going to be outloading this damage. And that also means you're really vulnerable, because people can come up behind you, and you're not moving, and you can't turn, and they can just outload damage onto you too, so keep that in mind. So next ship is the Condor. Uh, of all the ships, the Condor is definitely on the weaker side, It, at the point of this recording at least, it could have gotten a buff or something like that, but at this point, its special ability Berserk takes a super long time to charge up, like 30 seconds, and it really doesn't make like a huge difference. So if you're just like a Condor player, this is just like your regular ship, this has got nothing special, so Berserk will just like increase its bullet damage a little bit, uh, be a little bit faster, like... It's basically if you're like amazingly good at PvP and you hit every one of your shots, this is probably the ship you want to use because it deals a lot of DPS just based only on the ship. So, so the Ace Speedster, of course. Everybody loves the Ace Speedster. All the good players who are good at dueling love playing with the Ace Speedster. So, this ship definitely is very powerful in this mod if you know how to use it. So, we have a member, Mia, and she is incredibly good at using it. Um, and used right, it's incredibly hard to kill. So basically, regular speedster with damage, you know, your goal with this ship is to dodge bullets, basically, and not get hit, and just slowly peck away at your opponent's health, um, try to have your team support you, or support your team, I should say, support the bigger ships, defend them. Um, the quick drive ability is amazing, so it reloads in like six seconds, and it gives you like a second of invulnerability. You can jump out of basically any bad solution with it. So use it wisely, but definitely 
don't use it too little because it, it takes like six seconds to reload so oh man rock tower so rock tower is definitely one of the weaker ships in the game its dps is terrible like it is extremely miserable you can do literally nothing with it but it's really memey because you can fire out an asteroid out of the front which is just hilariously fun to do here and whenever somebody's after you it's basically like an instant like escape you know what i mean because it just sends them flying and it's just hilariously fun to do but it's a terrible ship overall it definitely needs to have some kind of buff definitely hopefully in damage okay so kuda is a decent ship it's on the lower end in, term of, in terms of strength but it does have a really cool ability and if you're just like a kuda player it is really enjoyable to play I would like them to buff the energy regain, that would be nice, but we'll see how that works out. It's got its pull ability, which can send the lighter ships flying. Uh, the heavier ships are pretty immune to it, so it's only really good for countering like really light ships. So that's what you'd want to use it for. So Chimera was the next ship that I tried. I'll be honest, it's really a terrible ship. The special ability is giving that good. It's just not a good ship all around. I wouldn't recommend using it. Let's hope that they do buff it in the future. That would be really helpful. But we'll just see what happens. For now, yeah, not really that good. BFG is the next ship that I use. This is one of the most common ships used just because of how incredibly powerful it is when you have multiple of them. It's streamable. It's with its special ability, it does so much damage. It's actually crazy. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been nerfed like four times already and it's still powerful, so that just shows how good the, the ship truly is. It is defeatable with some of the faster, um, smaller ships just because you can get behind it or some of the special abilities for those ships are also useful to defeat it, but up close it's not. Up close is really only a shot I guess I should say, because in the distance it's got insane range and in sight. So. Next ship I tried out is called the Warthog. It's a decent ship, you just have to get so close to use it, and the airstrike ability is like interesting to activate, so do keep that in mind of how close you need to get, just because there's a lot of other ships that can kill you before you can actually truly get damage. So definitely on the weaker side of the game so far, but still fun to use. Oh, uh, the Echo. The Echo is a super good ship. I, I, it was one of my favorite ships since the beginning of the game. It's hard, it's a really bad offensive ship, I will say, like, you've got to have a lot of teammates surrounding you that are not that ship. Um, it's best played against players who are new to the server because its ability, which takes like a really short amount of time to cool down, but basically makes you invisible and vulnerable for like 10 seconds. Uh, the thing is you can't move when you're in that, you keep going in whatever velocity and direction you were last headed in, so people who know your ship and it's the instant you disappear and know which direction you're going you can just sit around and wait for you to come out of your invincibility state and then try to kill you. Um, usually you can get away, but do keep that in mind that this is really not a huge team ship and they only have a lot of people supporting you to play this to the best of its ability. The Vampire is an incredibly fun ship to play. So without its ability, it's just a decent ship. Basically think of it like an H Mercury or something. Uh, it just does a lot of damage in a really short amount of seconds. Uh, it's not amazingly accurate, it's decent from a distance, decent close up, it's a really good all around ship. Uh, shields aren't too great, but what makes it super cool is it's special ability which shoots out a kind of like wallish slash shieldish like burst of bullets and if you get that thing close range you can easily one hit opponents because it does like a thousand damage so it's a really fun ship to play with, I would definitely encourage you guys to try it out. So the ship Hellcat is basically just an H Mercury, uh, you know the last ship was the same thing. Basically the same thing with its ability as, or with its ship as well, but what makes it so special is with the ability. I know a lot of people downplay the ability because it literally turns into like an attack pod with like six attack pods behind it. It's like a really trolly ability, but it's actually incredibly good because it's so hard to hit you because you're such a small ship. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed playing with it. I actually found a lot of fun playing with it and it's actually a really decent ship. So. Definitely one I would try out for for yourself as well if you're you're thinking of playing because it's it's really fun and trolly to play with. The intervention is really an interesting ship. Honestly, the base ship itself is like somewhat decent just because of its single pulse that shoots out. It does a decent amount of damage, but yeah, its special ability is miserable. Um, 
basically it's a humongous sniper. The thing is it takes like five seconds for you to get energy regain enough to even fire the thing, at least five seconds. Uh, on top of that, you're sitting there standing still and you're extra huge. And most of the time you miss your shots. So it's really a ship that does need some help. But when you hit one of those shots, it is pretty satisfying. So that's fun to do. The Puck is definitely one of the most unique ships in the game so far. Uh, as a base ship, it's actually pretty decent. I would compare it, it's pretty similar to the 8 Speedster. Um, this one shoots two pulses, so by itself, it's definitely a decent ship and just fine to fight with. The thing is its special ability, which is incredibly unique. Um, it does take a super long time to charge up, but when you use it, you basically swap ships with somebody else. So whoever's closest to you, you'll swap ships with them and they'll get your puck, that's your ship, and you'll get their ship and their special ability and everything like that. And there's also a unique cooldown time with a special ability. I'm not entirely sure how that works because I've only played this ship once, but it's incredibly fun to do and also incredibly annoying when somebody else steals your ship by using it. The Vulcan is really one of those ships I've like never played. Uh, so my basic knowledge is you have a cursor outside of your circle and where like you only can hit opponent ships whenever whenever they're on that cursor otherwise you can't hit them so basically it's incredibly weird and hard to hit opponents i mean if you do it right you do a ton of damage but it's super hard uh, i think you can activate its ability to make it so the cursor, go, so cursor goes inside the circle so it's more close range uh, so that is useful again I've, I've only played the ship once so i've not had a ton of chances to experience around that so try that out for yourself the Phoenix is another really unique ship. Think of it basically just like a bullet hose. I honestly equate it to the tier one of the Nautic series, whatever that's called, the Nautic series. That a starting ship is basically the same thing as this, except this thing does more damage. So it shoots a ton of really small and slow bullets, but they do do a ton of damage added up together. And its firewall ability is also incredibly powerful. It shoots out like a ton of like these squiggly lightning bolts. They're really cool to see, kind of like a BFG. But yeah, a really cool ship if you use it right. The Goliath is another really unique ship. Unfortunately, this one's ability isn't quite as powerful. I would love for them to do like a buff on it. Uh, but basically, it's a tank and it shoots decent damage from the front. I would give it that. Its special ability is to turret. So I guess it's good for holding the center. But it's just overall, it's just not as good compared to the other ships. So the Kunai. Oh my goodness, this is such a fun ship to use, and it's incredibly trolly if you like doing that. So, by itself, it's pretty terrible. I mean, the bullets are fast enough, you can hit most of your shots, it's just like, they do like no damage, so it's a really good support ship. But, it's got this special boogie woogie um, ability, which allows you to swap ships, or swap ship positions with another person, so the nearest opponent within your, like, circle, you'll swap ships with them, so it's really good if you're trying to retake the center, you can just, like, swap enemies right out of the center, and they'll have no idea what hit them, it's incredibly fun to do. The final and newest ship they've added in at the time of this video is called the Landslot, and it needs to be nerfed it is so powerful so by itself it's decent it's counterable it's like countered by all the fast ships you you can counter it with them because it's a super aggressive ship and has to be like moving forward in order to actually get damage but its special ability will like wipe any ship off the face of the earth because it'll like stun lock them and it just does so much damage they've got to nerf that damage or else the entire game's gonna like revolve around you, people using that ship and then everybody else just uses fast ships to counter it and no one's gonna use the slower ships because they'll get demolished by this ship so I'm sure sometime in the future they'll they'll uh, nerf it and now you have a basic idea for how this mod works and the ships they have in this mod right now again I'm sure there's gonna be new ships added I'm sure there's gonna be buffs and nerfs going around but when the entire mod does come out I will create a guide series to how to use each ship and what they're specifically for that's more detailed than this one. So I hope you subscribe if you want to see that one in the future. For me, who's been playing Star Blast for like two and a half years, it's an incredibly fun mod and it's incredibly cool to see something that's fresh and new. So I hope you enjoyed this. Stand out like...